The Wisconsin Institute for Public Policy and Service hosted a discussion with three of the state's top education advocacy leaders today. And they say they empathize with parents who are frustrated with the uncertainty of what school is going to look like for their kids. News 19's Lindsay Ford brings us part of that discussion. In Wisconsin, there are 421 school districts deciding how and when kids will return to classrooms in the fall. John Ashley, the executive director for the Wisconsin Association of School Boards, believes schools in the fall do not have a one-size-fits-all solution. Families, community members are just seeking a return to normal, whatever that looks like in the middle of a pandemic. And many communities are divided on what is the best way forward. And those divisions have created challenges for my members. That being said, our members are united that they want to provide high quality education for students and staff in a safe and healthy environment. The look of that may change from community to community, from school to school, even within a community, it may vary over time as the course of the virus changes. John Bales, executive director for the Wisconsin Association of School District Administrators, agrees with Ashley that schools are just trying to find the right balance. But I don't see superintendents necessarily divided on the issue, but because there's no um, uh, statewide plan, uh, we opted not to have a uniform strategy across the state. So you're really looking at 421 districts uh, responding in their own way within their own context. And so there's certainly differences uh, in how they're approaching it. Ron Duff Martin, the president of the Wisconsin Education Association Council, believes each school district should decide on a decision that best fits its community. From WEAC's perspective, um, it, we really believe that it's a local decision, absence any state giving any kind of mandate for the entire state. It's a local decision and we're going to support that decision if it's based on the health and safety of the students and staff both. Lindsay Ford, WXOW News 19.